Here's another example of how we can factor the difference in two perfect cubes. Remember to be a perfect cube, every number and every variable must be a perfect cube. So 27, x cubed, and 64, all are perfect cubes. So we do that by creating a binomial, that's two terms, and a trinomial. So we factor into a binomial times a trinomial. And we apply some rules. First one is, take the cubed root of the entire first term, including the coefficient of 27. So 3 times 3 times 3 is 27. That's the cubed root of 27. x times x times x is x cubed. That's the cubed root of x cubed. Use the same sign as the original. So if that were a plus, we would have put a plus here. And now take the cubed root of 64. So 4 times 4 times 4 is 64. The cubed root of 64 is 4. Once we have the first term, we will use it to find the three terms, or the first factor rather, we'll use it to find the three terms in the second factor. To find the first term, square the first term from the binomial. So 3 times 3 is 9. x times x is x squared. Use the opposite sign of what we used here. So we use minus, we use plus. Multiply the first and second terms together. 3x times 4 is 12x. Notice I ignored the sign because I had already made that decision by making the opposite sign. The last sign is always positive, so just put a plus there. And square the last term. 4 times 4 is 16. And you have the factors of 27x cubed minus 64. It might be useful to use the acronym SOAP to help us remember those signs. Same sign. The negative was the same as that negative. Opposite signs. This sign is opposite of this one. So if that's plus, that's minus. That's minus, that's plus. And always positive. The last term always has a positive sign right here. So if that helps you, take advantage of that. Thanks for watching. For more videos, please visit our website at mymatheducation.com and subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash mymatheducation.